Well, Craig's a positive opening half was followed by a bit of a hard-fought second one, but overall the boys saw it through, and you must be pleased with a lot of that. Yeah, it's always, you know, we all talk about development football, not about winning, but I think it's nice to win. You know, it's nice for the boys to learn how to win a game. Um, we've had a little sticky spell. You know, we've got a few players missing who would normally play, so credit to the young ones who come in. You know, there hasn't been a, a lot of fit defenders, so we had a little bit of a makeshift back four with Tom playing right back and, and Barry and Jordan. Jordan hasn't played a lot and Adam playing left back, so credit to them for getting in. You know, it's, I know they were young, we were young as well, they were probably slightly long, uh, younger than us, but they beat an experienced on this side 3 0 last week and they beat Hearts 5 2 in the Youth Cup, so um, irrespective of age, they're a good football inside and they make them move the ball. So I thought first half, it's strange. We were, Keith and I were kind of disappointed how we played in the first half, but maybe it's just sometimes you're at eye level. And I just felt at half time we had to give them some information that it was one or two bits per player that you, probably they could improve on. And that was the message to try and improve on. I think overall in the game, we probably had two or three different little, you know, little bits per player where we have to be better so this is where we'll analyse our own individual games see what we can work on and see what we can do so um, I think we scored goals at the right time you know the game was kind of caught in between we scored the first one getting the second one just bang on half time just kind of takes a little bit of sting out of them and gives us a bit more relaxation in the second half but you know, when it goes to 2-1 we've seen this before we're going to not crumble but it, it's a little test of character to see how you get on so it was nice that we kind of wrestled the game back um, and I think in the end we probably just slightly edged the game to win it and at points, do you, was, was there maybe a bit of fear that some missed chances might have come to cost with Rangers perhaps pushing towards the end of the game and an equaliser could have came perhaps? Well, that's always the fear. You know, we had a few chances first half. Young Dylan goes through and I, I don't know whether he shot or crossed it. And Jake is the header going wide and, you know, Big Dylan's had a couple of things sniffing about the box. He had one second half over the top. So there are little instances, you know, it's it's um, probably story of maybe most under 20 managers say you're the same but we certainly felt we had opportunities we've had opportunities in other games we've missed them and haven't taken them so um, it was fine you know uh, as I say when it goes to 2-1 I thought we managed it well you know I think there are a couple of balls in the box nothing really dramatic that put us under any pressure I don't really remember Peter having a, any great saves when it goes to 2-1 they had a couple in the first half he had good saves from so I think the way they managed the game and the way they settled it down I think bringing Luke Watt on I know Luke played last night for Stranraer so it was a huge ask for him to start tonight but I, you just felt Bring a little bit of experience and composure on. Putting Tom back in the midfield just gives a little bit more uh, solidity in there. So, uh, pleased with how it went. You touched on the age of both teams. Do you much prefer seeing some of these young boys like James Scott coming on than, than bringing players down from the first team? It's, it's valuable experience. Well, after James's first three minutes, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, totally, totally agree. You know, I'd said to James, we took Dylan off because we felt his hold-up play wasn't very good. And the first thing, first two things James uh, does when he goes on and gives the ball away. So, listen, he's 16. I understand that they have a 15-year-old playing. They have 16-year-olds playing. So, I think we'd all much rather see that. You know, ultimately, first-team players have to play and they have to get themselves a match fit. But you know, when you see two young sets of players going out and, and trying to play the right way and getting stuck in and seeing plenty of tackles and plenty of challenges, that's what it's all about. You know, there's different ways to play football and different ways to win it. Rangers have a style like their first team they want to try and do. Um, we try to mix it up a little bit at times. We have to do that. You know, I think to try and prepare players for the first team as much as we possibly can. We have to make games competitive. I think we've done that. Um, so yeah, you're know, bringing James on and seeing young Jordan's on in for his first year full time. Young Dylan Faulkner getting some game time as well. So it's always pleasing. You mentioned it's nice for the boys to experience that victory, but do you, are you relieved to see back to winning ways, especially in the league? Like it's not relief, it's just, it's probably more for them because, you know, I know how much they put in and how much they have to listen to me and, yeah. um, you know, probably more relief for them to win. It, it, it just builds a little bit of confidence. You know, you go through a little spell, you don't win games, it can affect their mentality or it puts a little bit of fear into them. So getting back to winning ways, of course, performance is important and individual performance is important to see how far we can take them, where we can take them to. Um, but yeah, you know, winning for them is vital. You know, we've had a little sticky patch. We felt we should have picked up more points in recent games than we have. Um, so tonight's a little reward for that. Um, I, as I say, I think we slightly aged it, but overall pleased. But probably more pleasing is we've still got things to work on but, you know, I still feel there's a room for improvement um, and if we continue to do that then we'll move forward Well, well deserved Craig thanks for your thing.